that was John, and John has been a big leader in uh, red light dementia and Parkinson's disease, um, and a lot of it in primate models, which is which means it's it's got some it's got a lot of validity to it. Yeah, they're similar to us. Yeah, they're or very, us very to them. Yeah. 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 Another experiment we did was over life you will lose a third of your rod photoreceptors in your retina. Maybe you, just explain for people what the rod system okay, does. Okay, the rod yeah. system is the majority of photoreceptors are rods. They tend they are the receptors that you use when you're dark adapted, um, which a lot of us aren't very much these days. So we've got our cones, which deal with color and deal with bright light. Then as we turn the lights down, we start to use our rods. So loads and loads of rods, relatively few cones. What I usually tell students, so this is like you, in the old days when everyone didn't have a smartphone near their bed, you wake up in the middle of the night and you need to use the restroom. You, you can navigate to the restroom. You might flick the light on in the restroom. I don't recommend doing that. It'll quash your melatonin <laughs> yeah. unless it's a red light or you go out on a hike and you don't bring what we call a flashlight, Glenn. You guys call it torch. Yes. Um, yeah. But as you come back, your, your eyes start to adapt. It's, it's getting dark. You can still see the outline of the trail. There's not starlight yet, but you, you're able to, as you say, dark adapt, and you can see enough of what you need to see. You're using your rod system. Yeah. The key thing here is rods are me very, very numerous. Cones are not so. So what what happens, then, for instance, if we take a, a aging animals and we just expose them to red light every day, we give them a burst of red light, and then we count the number of rods they've got when they reach old age. And the result is super clear. We have reduced the pace of cell death in the retina. Okay? So red light is affecting mitochondria. Mitochondria have the ability to signal cell death. And we're drawing back the probability of that cell dying. Now, we did that in mice. We did it on a lot of mice. It was a killer of an experiment to keep animals going forever. And then I forced one of my graduate students basically to go one, two, three, four, and count photoreceptor outer segments. She was a hero. Um, so we can use red light to reduce the pace of cell death. So... I am not too surprised that John Metrophanes would have reduced the pace of cell death in the substantia Niagara, that nucleus that gives rise to uh, Parkinson's disease. 